A raccoon born with a developmental condition is fighting his stride and even some fame at a while a fame at a wildlife sanctuary in Hardin County. Dennis Ting traveled to Nolan River Wildlife where he met Boone the raccoon. There are dozens of animals at Nolan River Wildlife. Dogs, foxes, even possums. But there's one furry critter you can't miss. Rolling his way through the fields. Meet Boone the raccoon. Boone loves to eat, play with his best friend Benton, and he even loves to dance. He has this thing where I swear this is true, but he jumps up and down to music. He gets in your lap, and it's certain kinds of music. Like earth, wind, and fire. But one thing Boone isn't able to do is walk on his own, something Mary Key learned shortly after he arrived at Nolan River Wildlife last May. We didn't know there was an issue until it was time for him to start walking. And then when it's about three weeks old, four weeks old, he started doing a lot of this and falling over. Boone was diagnosed with cerebellar hypoplasia. Which means the base of his brain didn't grow like it should. That meant Boone couldn't walk on his own. But Mary, the director of the wildlife sanctuary, decided to help Boone find his legs, or rather, his wheels. And this wheelchair that Boone gets around in was actually made by high school students at Central Hardin High School. It was so fun to listen to him. A lot of it I didn't understand because it was language of <laughs> engineers. The students created this wheelchair, letting Boone move around like other raccoons. Yeah, I got choked up. It was that rewarding, and I don't cry easily, so that's pretty amazing. Mary says she hopes people will learn to peacefully coexist with wildlife and can see that even raccoons who can't walk deserve a chance at a happy life. The joy and the whatever he spread has been so much more than I ever could have imagined. Mary says most of the animals at the wildlife sanctuary are released back into the wild after they're fully healed. But Boone, he's found his forever home. In Hardin County, Dennis Tang, WHAS 11 News.